you know, seeing, you know, and, and you know, with uh, looking at the S meter and uh, working these particular stations, and I have all this stuff in my head crammed in from all these lo uh, long path and short path contacts over the last few days, that um, the, all this stuff is matching what I'm looking at on, on this uh, graph, on this paper uh, from the uh, modeling, which is uh, quite amazing. And I don't think I want to scramble my brain anymore with these figures that you just gave me. And I, I'm sure that uh, um, there's uh, something to it. But um, I'm going to uh, I want to try and keep my thoughts as straight as I can at the moment, if you, if you understand what I mean. And uh, so I'm going to do some more testing uh, with Clay on, the, uh, on bringing them in a little bit. And he's going to do some modeling, and I'll find out what that looks like on Wednesday. And uh, this is also confirmed by uh, Casey's NYC Mike, who told me that uh, as we bring them in, as we bring them in, that um, that center lobe is going to uh, expand. It's going to open. Uh, it will go wider because one hex beam was about 75 degrees, uh, and uh, it dropped to 38 degrees with two of them. So it almost uh, like in half. Uh, so um, this, uh, what we want to do is we want to get some type of a compromise in here. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But thanks for that information, Dave. I appreciate it. And I'm going to put all of this information on uh, on my uh, my QIZ page or in an article or somewhere, maybe in a PDF. Once we get this thing uh, locked down, because it's a, it's a, it's kind of like an investigation. It's fun because it hasn't been done before with X beams. It's been done with Yagi's, but hex beams are operating a little bit differently. Uh, K1MT with uh, WA1HM or ke 5 e over. All right, K1MT. Uh, the top stack to the bottom stack to both stacks together. So two or two or four antennas at one time. And each of the hex beams on the booms have a stack match over. Okay, I understand. Amazing, other than you know, uh, looking at either uh, the two top ones or the two bottom ones or all four. That's why I understand that the power is going to be divided into them. Yeah, correct. Yes, uh, the um, uh, the stack matches um, uh, with uh, equal uh, length uh, feed lines, phasing lines. Uh, split the um, uh, split the power and equally to each antenna. So when uh, when the um, when the signal comes uh, through the uh, lower stack match, each antenna sees the same the same signal. Over. Uh, signal divided by uh, well four of them. But when you only have two of them, uh, you're going to get 3 dB is what you're putting out the power. Or what that's the thing, really, you the uh, the feed line going into the feed line for speed, 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 uh, yeah. I can understand it. But anyway, back to you, Stan. And uh, I love listening to you. <laughs> I love the project that you are uh, entertaining. It's a world. Yeah, Roger, your signal's going down. The band is shifting on us. You probably see it in my signal also. So I'll, I'll say 7-3 at this point, uh, Dave. I don't want to lose you. But I don't know what the band's going to do right now between us. Um, but, uh, yes, uh, you're right. Uh, it splits it. I have uh, four stack matches on the six stack of uh, set by ours. There's three stack matches up on the tower, and there's one uh, big stack match at the base. And uh, they're all fed. Uh, I have them fed in triple dual stacks. So there's a top stack, a middle stack, and a bottom stack, and I feed them that way. So instead of switching antennas, I switch stacks. On the uh, on the 200 foot tower. Okay, buddy. 73. I'll catch you later, and uh, we'll be back here on Wednesday testing with Clay. Uh, Clay so if you're around, uh, join in. Okay. Now, what time and what day? Right here, same place at 1600.
Okay, uh, 73, Dave. And uh, Tim, uh, Tim, are you still hearing me? Over. Yeah, I'm not hearing Tim at all. I think the band show is going out on us. Okay, 73, you're with me. Echo, echo, five, echo, echo. EV1 Delta, Japan, Houston. Who's the Delta, Japan? Echo, Bravo, one, Delta, Japan. Wow, nice signal. Echo Bravo 1, Delta Japan. I thought Japan was close. Kilo Echo 5, Echo Echo. It's cold here. 5 nine. Uh, You're doing most of the work. <laughs> Thank you, Maslima Echo Echo. I would like to bring you If you are now using the stack of 2, 2XBM that you have on the website, I think you're uh, really, really low, as always. Uh, that's exactly right, Alex. That's what I'm using right now. The uh, I'm on the uh, uh, the uh, stack of XBMs, all right? Roger, QSL, QSL. I'd like to be able to listen to you again. Uh, you are coming 5 and I'm plus 10 to 15 without any preamplifier on my uh, SUFT 2000 transceiver. I'm using only 100 watts output. Uh, exactly 65 watts, 65 watts output on the meter because I have the highest WR on this segment on 15 years. And the antenna is 3 LMS drive under, Coast Guard A3 is at 35 through the ground play levels. Q Echo 5, Echo Echo, if you want to Okay, very good, Alex. Uh, very good. Thanks for the nice signal report. I'm very happy that the things are working. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you, I'm having so much fun with these antennas. Uh, that's a nice report. I have you 5'9", and uh, that's pretty good on the uh, on 65 watts. What is your antenna, Alex? Over? Yes, the antenna is the Cushcraft Alpha 3 Sierra. Cushcraft Alpha 3 Sierra, three elements drive under it. Uh, put on the tower at 15 years, around 30 feet, 30 feet over the ground play level. I was listening to your comments carefully, and uh, the truth is that I really like your experience with the antennas. Kilo Echo 5, Echo Echo, if you want it. Right, they're very good, Alex. Were you able to see the picture of the antennas on my QRZ page, over? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, last season, the last, the, the last week, uh, I see the pictures and another friends in Spain, close to my area. Um, very, very impressive. Very, very impressive. Uh, it's the first time I see this as talk, right? Oh, very good. Actually, yeah, it's the first time it's ever been done. And uh, I'm amazed uh, when I go out there and look at it in the antenna field. I'm going, what the heck is that thing? <laughs> it's the craziest thing. Uh, thanks very much for the call, Alex. I appreciate it, buddy. I'll say 7-3. You take care and uh, be safe over there, okay? Uh, you too and yours. You too and yours. Be safe and keep it the good work. I have already here uh, that it worked tremendously good, and uh, here is the proof of it. <laughs> Thank you, Stan. I'll be here and see you later. Kilo Echo 5, Echo Echo, Echo Bravo 1, Delta Japan, listening and QRT. Okay, very good, Alex. 73, buddy, and thanks for the call. I appreciate it. And a nice report there with the hex beams. Uh, Echo Bravo 1, Delta Japan. Kilo Echo 5, Echo Echo. Cheers. Cheers, stand by. Echo, very good day to you. Uh, thank you for the call. I have you 5 by 9, 59. Uh, and then my name is Stan, Sugar, Texas, Alpha, Norway, Stan. And the QTH is near Pensacola, Florida. Uh, and I'm talking to you on a pair of hex beams, a stacked pair of hex beams horizontally uh, uh, polarized uh, horizontally stacked at 60 feet um, EI6 IPB KE5BE -E, over okay Sean very good uh, you're doing a very good job with the 100 watts there. Uh, it's a very, very good signal. The band is very quiet. The band is very quiet at the moment, and there's no QRM. And uh, nice to meet you for the first time. Uh, thank you very much for the call. 73, you have a great day, okay? Okay, Sean, 73, and thank you very much for the call there from Ireland. I appreciate it. Echo India 6, India Papa Bravo, K-E-5-E. Bye-bye.